within the last years, a kind of a new cleavage has been added uh, in societies that are impacted by migration. And it, this has been the big constructed cleavage of immigrants versus natives. Digging deeper, we noticed that this, in fact, doesn't uh, hold true. If you go and ask people for their positions, immigrants also are conservative or liberal, religious or non-religious. They come from countrysides or they come from, from big cities. So uh, we couldn't get this cleavage construction somehow present when we ask people about their real ideas about society. But what we could find is that there is, in effect, a very, very harsh and new cleavage that is somehow creating a new bipolar conflict situation, which is the idea of accepting plurality and rejecting plurality. And within these new two fields, those who accept or even embrace plurality and those who reject or even fight plurality, we have totally new camps. We have in the camp of accepting plurality, liberals and conservatives, religious and non-religious, people from the countryside and from big cities, and on the other part too. And this irritates people because this is the main part of the ambivalence situation that we can see. If we have a look at these rising right-wing populist movements that we have in uh, all uh, European societies. Uh, if we have a look, for example, at the Alternative for Deutschland, that um, is one of those parties who is anti-elitist, anti-European, anti-Muslim especially, and anti-immigration, we could describe those move movements who were positioning themselves against these ideas of societies as totally diverse movements. We had a lot of conservative, we had Catholic preachers, we had old um, uh, German teachers, we had uh, immigrant organizations, leftist people and students, all in the same field, um, somehow struggling for this idea of Germany being colorful. And then we had on the other side also first generation immigrants who said, no, we don't want the refugees to come in this country because they don't belong. And we can also see that if we compare it to the 30% Hispanics who voted for Donald Trump, that as a matter of fact, those camps are getting reshuffled. We have new alliances and new antagonistic poles. And it is all a matter about they struggle on recognition and they struggle on acceptance. And this creates a big dyna dynamic around this core contested issue of hybridization, diversity and plural democracy. And there we can also see that the idea of post migrant societies is an idea about looking at the fields better and not determining them in terms of migrant versus native and to get beyond this migrant native divide in order to decover what the real problems in societies are. And as a matter of fact, they are still the same problems about race, class, and gender that we have been seeing over the last decades, but they were tapped somehow by this omnipresent migration issue. <laughs>